Welcome to Let's Cook at Home with your optical artist, Blair Jones. Today I am going to prepare um, a main dish with black rice. Okay, so I'm not really, um, I'm not in the mood for meat today. Okay, so I'm just going to fix this rice as a main dish and I'm making this recipe up as I go. So when I got to the store, I knew I wanted to cook black rice. But I didn't know exactly what flavor I wanted it to have. So I started to build what I, what I had a taste for. And I had a taste for zucchini. I had a taste for squash. You know, so I built it from there. So um, I have a cup of rice. This is your black rice. And I should have, you know what, I have another bag. Hold on. I got a bag that's open. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because I want you to see it. Okay. So it's literally black rice. Can you see that? It's hard for me to... I don't have a good angle from where I am. So I can't tell if you can see that or not. But it's black rice. Not only is it black rice. It says it's forbidden. The title alone made me want to buy it because it was forbidden. <laughs> so anyway, I originally bought this um, for something else. But I had to buy it in bulk, so I have so many bags of it, I figured, well, let me start to eat it. So a couple months ago, I tried it for the first time, and I thought it had a very, very good taste to it. Um, I don't know how to describe the taste right now, and I don't know if it was because of the seasonings that I used then. Um, but today, I'm going to tell you exactly what it tastes like before I put any seasoning in it. Okay, so right now, I have a cup of black rice in there. Now, according to the directions, it says one cup will yield three cups of cooked rice. That's kind of a lot of rice for me because um, nobody's eating this but me. But we're going we're gonna to roll with it. So I have this cooking for a minute um, to bring it up to a boil so let me see if it's soft enough for me to take some out and let it cool off for a second so I can tell you how it tastes without any seasoning okay I wish I could let you see inside of the pot can you see that it's black but it smells really good. Let me see if it's uh, soft enough. It's cooking down. The water in it is cooking down some. I didn't have any... Um, I forgot to buy chicken broth when I was at the store today. So I had to use water. I typically don't use water when I boil rice. I usually always use chicken stock or vegetable stock or beef stock. Alright, so I'm going to put the lid back on that and let it come back to a boil. Alright, so let me see if I can... It's still a little chewy, but it's not hard. It's really, it's a little chewy. And it tastes like rice, but a little sweeter. I think the last rice, yeah, it has like a, a sweeter taste to it than regular rice. At least it does to me. Yeah, at least it does to me. It just, it doesn't taste like sugar, but it doesn't taste bland. Okay, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't taste bland. If somebody told me I had to eat that just like that, with no salt, no sugar, no nothing, I could eat it. it you know, provided that it was cooked all the way through, but I could eat it just, 
just like that I can eat it. I don't know if I can say that about regular plain rice. Yeah. So anyway, let's get it going, okay? So, to build this dish, like I said, I had a taste for zucchini and yellow squash, okay? So, so far we're going to have your olive oil, your zucchini, your yellow squash, your black rice. I got a purple onion. I have some ginger. Uh, I'm going to add in poultry seasoning because I forgot to, to buy the... Um, <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> I forgot to buy the, the broth, the chicken broth. Ah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I forgot to buy the chicken broth, so I'm going to add poultry seasoning in that. I want a little heat in it, so I have some cayenne pepper. I'm going to add some turmeric, and we're going to add some pink Himalayan salt, and some cilantro. We're going to add in at the end, and I bought some Wild Wonders tomatoes. I like the color. I thought they'll look pretty on top. So that will hit all the flavors that I am in the mood for. I love tomatoes. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is, okay, the rice is back up to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead, wash off my zucchini and my squash, and I already washed my cilantro. What else do I need to do? I'm going to go ahead and cut my onion. I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. All right. I got my onion peeled. I got my veggies washed off. And so now we are ready to begin the magic. So, I know you all seen my, my little handy-dandy spinner right here. I'm going to shred up my zucchini and my squash and I'm going to go ahead and add it straight to the dish. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to do my onion in the spinner too. I know I'm going to pay the price for it. I was lightweight thinking of putting it in the food processor, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not because I want my onions longer. I don't want them all chopped up like that. Okay, because this is my main dish, I really want to see um, my vegetables in it. Okay, it, it gives the illusion of heartiness. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, so let's get going here. I'm going to leave that there. Oh, I'm also going to add in, you know I always got to healthy it up just a little bit more. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in right now. All right. And I'm going to stir that up. I think I'm going to leave the lid off because I'm going to add these vegetables in as I go. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put, grind the ginger and the cilantro up together because they're going to go in last. So right now, we're going to go ahead and do the zucchini. have this on thin spiral. I have to eat the whole thing because if I don't, 
it will sit in the refrigerator and go back. haven't invested in one of these veggie pillars yet, you're missing out because it just makes food so much fun. When my granddaughter was here, uh, I did this with the zucchini and made a spaghetti sauce for it. So you had a, a red sauce and it was so good. So I'm just going to cut it just a little bit just because when I'm eating it, I don't want it hanging all out of my mouth too bad. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add this in. Alright, so let's add in our zucchini. So the rice, like I said, is almost, it's almost done. By the time my vegetables cook down a little bit, everything should be ready at the same bat time. So I'm going to stir that up. I turned it down. I had it up too high. Alright, I'm going to add in my olive oil. go ahead and do the zucchini. Ah, the squash! I'm going to put the whole thing in there, the whole squash in there. I tried to buy them small enough. I think I'm clogged up. I don't know. There we go. There we go. ever um, put yellow squash on here before. I know I've done zucchini and, and cucumber, but I don't, I don't know if I've ever done squash because I don't recall ever seeing the seeds pile up like that. So we just give it a light little cut. Not too much. And we're going to add that in. Okay, let's do the other half. Yeah, if you don't have one of these, get you one. It's a lot of fun. I think you're gonna, if, oh, it's holiday season. I know you're going to get one now. It'll probably be in the aisle with the Chia Pet. One of those uh, as seen on TV items. But it really does work, though. It's awesome. Alright, 
What else we got? Oh, we got the onion. I should have started with the onion. Honestly. Now my water that was in here, the rice has drank it up. But the liquid from the vegetables just might be enough to keep enough moisture in here because I don't I don't want it like soup but I don't want it dry either I want it to move a little bit just a little bit okay so now I'm going to go ahead and put my onion in here and I'm going to do the whole onion let me Let's give onion a fair chance, all right? It was all clogged up. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm still getting used to this burner. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and start to add our seasoning in. So I'm going to start with the poultry seasoning. Please don't ask me, how much did you use, Larry? I don't know, okay? We're just going to sprinkle a little bit. Oh, hold on. Onion got in my eye. God damn it. And stop. <laughs> All right, so that's done. We're going to go in with a little cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I feel like a little heat. Just a little bit of heat. Then we're going to go in with our pink Himalayan salt. Alright, and then our turmeric. Now remember if you don't use cayenne pepper, in order for turmeric to in your body you have to add black pepper as a carrier okay but because I add, added in cayenne pepper and I had turmeric in my tea this morning with black pepper I can let it ride so for this dish I'm going with the cayenne pepper and the turmeric I don't know if the cayenne pepper is the same carrier is as the black pepper I have no idea I may have to look that up I'm going to add in just a little bit more olive oil Right, and I'm gonna give it another little stir. And I'm gonna say it's almost done because I, you know, I don't like mushy. All right, I want the vegetables cooked, which they are. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grind up my ginger, and I don't think I'm gonna use this whole piece. Let's see. Uh, I 
think I'm going to add about, I add that. All right, and then my cilantro, I'm not going to use the whole bushel either. We're going to use about this much. <laughs> it's, it's less than half, okay? Now, I'll wash this. So I'm going to add this in. And I also washed my ginger. I'm just going to give it a little cut and add it in. Is there anything else I need to add in here? I do think so. I may just throw in a couple tomatoes. Just a couple to balance it out just a little bit. Because I really want the tomatoes cut on top. have already cooked down. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add in my cilantro. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off and let it do what it needs to do with no heat. Alright. Oh, this is not... Y'all, I'm hungry. I gotta stop doing videos when I'm hungry. I don't think I had this on here all the way. I'm on some foolishness. <laughs> Say foolishness. I don't understand. What is going... Oh, yeah, I know what, I know what the problem is. It just popped in my mind. But I'm not going to tell y'all what the problem is. But it's a problem. And I'll take care of it. Soon. <laughs> Alright. So let me, let me get this over here. forget to remind you all that Let's Cook at Home has a Facebook page. So you can also follow me there and sometimes I post uh, little videos of something that I have already prepared. So it's not the, the detail like we do here on YouTube. It's more of a meal that's already done or something that I wanted to try. It's real quick little uh, video that I record on my phone. Okay, these I do on the camera. Um, but there I post little memes and uh, you all can write me there and talk to me there. And it's just a little bit more, 
I think it's a little bit more personal. I'm not a huge Instagram person. I have an Instagram page. I've been on the internet <laughs> before the internet was even fun. I was I'm back in the in the MySpace and and Black Planet and when um, AOL had the little running man with the little feet. That was me. I was on the internet back then. So I've been a while around a while on the internet. It's just at that time it was not um, as popular as it is now. Now that's the platform to go to. Um, but I tend to stick to my regular Facebook because my Facebook friends are funny and very smart. So I have a, an eclectic group of Facebook friends. I have over uh, I think almost like 2,000 friends on Facebook. So my news feed is extremely entertaining and also very educational. I have a, a, a very eclectic group of people that I like, you know, because I am a very um, multi-dimensional person. I'm not just one way. I have my hand in a lot of different things, so I like people in a lot of different things so I can find out stuff. Okay, so yeah, if you wanted to follow uh, Let's Cook at Home on Facebook, I'm there. I'm also there as Lyric Original. But on Facebook, I think you can either put in Let's Cook at Home or you may do well with um, Lyric Original 1, which is one word. Okay, capital O. But um, yeah, L Y R I C O R I G I N A L S with the number one. Okay, not the hashtag one, just the number one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna season these tomatoes up a little bit because that's just what I do. Right, so I'm gonna sprinkle it on the little sea salt here. All right, and then I'm gonna hit it up with what? 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 What lyric? What do you want to put on it? You know what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with some Italian seasoning. We're gonna go with that. Why? I don't. Know. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. And that's it right there. Okay, let me make sure everybody get his chance in the seasoning bath. Alright, and now we're going to check on our rice, which should be done. Ooh, that's pretty. Super hot. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it up. And I'm going to let it cool off. And then I'll come back and do a taste. Yeah, let's go ahead and plate her up. sure I have that off. I don't want to burn it up. Yeah, it's off. Yeah. Move it over here to this side. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put our tomatoes on top. Yeah, I figured I would add 
the brighter tomatoes to it because the rice is black and I knew the color of it would turn my vegetables darker and I needed just a little bit of color to that. I am an artist, okay? <laughs> I need things to visually please me. Yeah, I think that'll do it right there. So we're going to let that cool off. I'm going to pour me a glass. And what, what are we going to go with with this? The sangria? Let's go with some sangria. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go with sangria. off for a little bit and then we'll come back and taste it okay I got a chance to clean up a little bit hopefully it's good and cooled off Let's see if we can get in here with this black rice that is so good <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now. I think it's the seasoning or whatever it is that you put in with it. Because like I said, when we taste the rice, plain no seasoning in it just kind of has this kind of sweet taste to it but once you add your seasoning and whatever else you're going to use I remember what I thought it tastes like the last time I cooked it I thought it tastes like um, black eyed peas um, cabbage you know I don't know what your cabbage and your black eyed peas taste like but that's the, the taste that it gave me. I didn't think rice at all. It, it has a totally, once you start to season it up, it just kind of comes alive and starts to impersonate other vegetables and dishes. <laughs> so right now, this is giving me the taste of cabbage minus the vinegar. So the sweetness of when you cook purple cabbage and then I have the zucchini the sweetness of the zucchini and the squash in there we got a little layer of heat mm. and you know some lemon juice would be good on this or matter of fact a little apple cider vinegar would be good on this too let's see let me get it going with a tomato let's see mm. oh yeah that thing right there baby personally I'm going to add just a little bit more salt to it. If I'm a salt person. Um, I don't like it to like where it's burning my tongue, but I need to know that it's there. And to me, that's the only thing that is um, kind of missing. That my body is like, more salt, more salt. It's great. This is great. I will eat this. Oh, wait. Chips. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice marriage right there. So, that's it. I have showed you all how to prepare a black dish. Uh, black dish. <laughs> 
black rice dish. <laughs> when it's very good, um, I will be full. If not, I got a whole pot of it over here I can work on tonight. But um, I would say it's it's a success. I bought the uh, black rice on Amazon. Oh yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I bought it on Amazon. And uh, I think six of those bags that I had out came in a box. And uh, I'll have it for a while. But anyway, that's it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe and save. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I am a true addict to Amazon, and I do subscribe to subscribe and save. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say like and subscribe to my Let's Cook at Home page. Share the page with your friends. <laughs> Post it on your Facebook page if you like. I am tripping. I need to eat and come on up out of here. <laughs> and go watch me a movie or something. I am not myself right now. I'm a little delirious. I don't know what the hell. But anyway, thank you for watching. Come back and see me again. And remember to always keep a lyric in your heart. Until next time.